In this part of the tutorial, I will show that Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. <laughs> you need to add custom voice lines into the user mod slash sound folder. They need to be WAV files in 44,000 Hz. Right click on one of the clip editor sound folders, add clip to track and find your custom voice line. Before we create a lip synchronization animation of the face, let's lock the camera to the head of the character like so. In the graph editor, place a single keyframe for the camera by pressing the M key. Delete in the motion editor the data for the camera and now the camera will show in detail the face of the character. Now we can begin animating. Select all the shape keys that morph the face of the character. They will be found in face control and unknown tabs. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. <laughs> Select only the shape keys that correspond to the lower face. Make some empty keyframes by pressing M in the areas where our character is silent. Create a single frame showing the mouth shape used when pronouncing M, T, H or F. Now create a single frame showing the mouth shape used when pronouncing A or O. Press M when you are done creating it. Hold Ctrl or Shift to select both keyframes you just made and copy them to fit the lip sync along the graph editor timeline. If you don't hear the voice line while scrubbing the timeline, it's likely because it's not a WAV file set to 44,000 Hz. Use the default slider at around 50% to reduce the intensity of the previous keyframe. To reset the interpolation of the keyframes, use this mode in the graph editor. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the graph editor. <laughs> In the graph editor, we created a structure that looks like a braid. Every second keyframe is either O or A, which look distinct. We need to make them also look distinct, editing one by one in accordance to the spoken phoneme. We shouldn't forget about the areas where the character is breathing or not making any sounds at all, and create subtle idle animations there. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. <laughs> Source filmmaker, source filmmaker Lip Synchronization Now I will move over done. to the upper face. Let's select the nose shape key of our character and head to the Motion Editor tab. 
Press on the shape key, hold the left mouse button, press space, and record your mouse movement in the motion editor. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the graph editor. <laughs> by pressing shift and selecting an area in the motion editor, we can extend or shorten a motion by pressing alt when pressing on the edge of the green area. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the graph editor. <laughs> Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. <laughs> you can use the Graph Editor to create the movements of the eyelids if that's easier for you. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. <laughs> Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. Now, let's focus on the character's eyes. Some characters have their eyes linked to a view target bone, which can be found in the face controls. This particular model has the eyes rigged to the main rig, so we'll animate them like any other bone, but lock their rotation so the character's gaze stays fixed on a specific spot. Remove the rotation data after locking the rotation of the bones in the motion editor. Our eyes move very quickly in real life, but in animation it's generally best to keep eye movements around 2 frames at 24 frames per second unless the character is tracking a moving object. One of the best things about the motion editor is that it lets you copy sections of animation you like and reuse them later, all without breaking the smooth flow of your keyframes. Remember to hold the ALT button to stretch a motion editor selection. To finish off the animation, I will add some details with basic tweens in the motion editor. Source Filmmaker Lip Synchronization is best done in the Graph Editor. 